Hey everyone, so today I thought I'd get a pretty relaxed and chilled video uploaded for you. I'm not in the mood to kind of go out and do cage tours or anything or do any proper educational videos. I just thought I'd get this one done. It's really quick for me, it's easy, but it's also quite interesting. Um, having small pets and just pets in general, having kind of a binder, a folder with all their documents in is really important. So I'll show you the things and the type of things that I like to keep and the way I present everything. So yes, everything is just kept in this A4, I think it's like an A4 size folder. It's just got this little clip and you just push this and it uploads. Um, I did just have a like, little note in here that said like pet folder but I'm the only one that uses it so I don't really need to do that. Um, this folder was from my grandma, she kind of got it me and I just thought it was a perfect, it was just what I was looking for. So if we go in, we have loads of loads of things in here. So I'll go through everything individually. So I'll start off with these two things. Now these two things are just really sweet. This pen is one I got from Stephanie's Pet Care in our trade. And this is a pen I use for everything in the pets section because I know I won't lose it if I keep it in here. So this is my to-do list. We have four to five to-do lists on the go at the moment. We have the hamster list. These are the things which I am um, hoping to do for the hamsters. And um, that was meant to be a surprise for you guys on Facebook. But, you know, and that was meant to be a surprise as well. And then we have the rabbit and guinea pig things. Um, it's just like things that I need to know up on. Like that is just pretty basic. But just something that I just need to know that I need to do as soon as possible. I'm trying to think this one. This is my Christmas one. That's a surprise. So... You know, I've ruined that now. Then this one is YouTube videos which I have scheduled. So I'm not going to show you that. And the other one is just personal um, lists. So I won't go through that. But these are the things that I just find that I do better with to-do lists. Um, and it gets me organised. <laughs> so next, I will leave this bit till last. Um, I'll go through kind of like the random documents. Um, this one here is my card we received from Carrie's Little Piggies and our trade. We absolutely always keep all of our trade things because they're just so sweet. So that is the card from there. Then this card is from Stephanie's Pet Care in our trade. Um, again, very cute. It is a Dalmatian. I'm going to hopefully get a kind of a cork board up in the shed and kind of put everything in it. Next is my adoption pack. Now this is my adoption pack I don't even know I'm covering that um but when I got Ethel um this rescue is quite far away from me so I'm not too bothered about showing you guys so in here we just have my till receipt my contract um and then some of that has my details on and then this bit is my rabbit insurance which oh no the vaccination certificate um so that's Ethel vaccination I don't use these vaccination certificates anymore I use ones from my vets and then just a care sheet and it's always important to keep this and it has information about if you were ever rehoming and that obviously I never will then we have some random type pictures which I got from a supreme poster I just thought this was way too cute to throw away I absolutely love all the pictures and this is going to go up on the cork board um, this is another one this is just a letter from a, the one of the vets that I tried out, I don't actually go here, but um, I tried it out. It's just way too far away for me. Uh, it was about an hour and a half drive, but we heard good things about it, but no. Then this bit is all the health. It's just kind of the health, um, what are they called? Leaflets. So I'll get all these out. And this is another really cute picture, which I want to stick on the um, pet chalkboard this kind of looks like ralph from jack's pets um i thought it was just the cutest hamster ever um this one is the importance of vaccinating i like to keep these so if i have a friend that needs to use them or i like to post them through letterboxes if my neighbor kind of doesn't know what she's doing so it's on about vhd myxomatosis how it spreads um treatment symptoms and everything which is just really important and i like to keep these then we have the parasites one, so about worms and mites and fleas and that. Um, it's quite interesting. I didn't realise about like blowflies and and that 
it was quite interesting reading up on this. These are like the different things. It's really interesting and this is about the Xeno range which I don't actually use because I've heard mixed things about it. I've used it once for um, when I had mange, when not when I had mange but the guinea pigs had it. Um, I think it was, no I didn't even use it. I don't know what I used it for. Then there's one about Panicure. Um, I just like to keep that. Um, all about fly strike. I like to just keep reading this every year, even though I know pretty much everything about it, but I like to keep that. Then insurance. Then this one's quite interesting. This is about the Burgess Excel. It's not just about diet, it is about all these. And some of the things they set like talk about is really, really important. Their um company section, companionship, it talks about how they should like it says never keep rabbits and that which is important i've never ever heard of someone keeping them with chinchillas and um, exercise and play and they have some adorable adorable pictures which i like to look at so, about neutering um fiber content like the immune system and everything health problems um problems caused by poor diet and then health checks which you can do and i'm hoping to do a video on how to perform a health check and yeah, again, that's just something I like to keep. We then have a selective one, which is about the selective food, which I got in a parcel they wanted me to review. Then this is about selective pellets again, and talking about like the composition and stuff, I think. Then this one is about fibre first. Um, just something I got when I got the box. Um, and... It is just pretty interesting. I like to keep this and look at these adorable pictures. So, so, so cute. So they just stay in this little plastic wallet. Then these are some Pets at Home brochures, which I kind of really actually like. Pets at Home do have quite good brochures, I must admit. So there's a guinea pig one, which is quite good. Then the rats one, I got this before I got Daisy, Chloe and Rex. Um, the Pets at Home Guide to Caring for Your Dwarf Hamster because we did have a dwarf hamster in the past. Caring for Your Rabbits and this one's quite good. It is also an RSPCA guide. They've kind of worked together to make this and they do have fabulous things like the housing bit. They show like a playhouse and a run um, and that it is really good. And I like this page. It is really good. So that's that one. Then we just have the Pets at Home one. They're just this one is pretty much exactly the same and then the rabbit care in winter one which is really interesting and kind of something which is quite important then this one is about bonnie this is her registration thing i need to send off still i still haven't registered in my name it's really bad um, then we have two whole booklet things this is from a page called rodents with attitude and it is so interesting like it is really well written it's pretty much about everything it is from a like a forum um cute pictures so it's on about feeding vegetables hay how to change over food and that um things they should never eat treats how to provide water and it talks about safe plants and the dangerous plants which is really interesting and i kind of like that one and then this one I downloaded when I was trying to bond the rabbits and I kind of just downloaded the whole thing. So it talks about handling, housing and environment, feeding and it talks about pellets and I really find this quite interesting. This is a really good way of showing the like what you should feed your pets. Then all about bunny bonding and this is what I this is how I bonded you can see there's so much on bunny bonding this is all bunny bonding and then it has some good websites if you guys would like to check out any of them though i have checked a few of them out and they are quite good the rabbit.org the fuzzy rabbit one the bunny business and the rabbit care one and then i haven't checked these ones um this is a spa spca auckland one but it's kind of the same thing in the uk then this one is Bonnie's pedigree certificate. So she's registered with dog lovers. Um, it kind of has just like all her information on, which is important. Um, then we have the treat book. This is just treats um, and recipes and that and some lists, which I kind of like to keep. Um, and then plans for the shed and that. Uh, just kind of cut this out of a book. But we've got some bunny treats, some hamster treats. Um, these are 
some of the things you guys suggestions gave for muffin's name and that um some information just random really big notes really so that's like all the loose papers i'm going to go on to this one this is kind of the most important document and the one i prefer this book is just absolutely gorgeous it is a textured book you see it's kind of quite 3d um it's just got this gorgeous little swallow on and my nana got me this um it's called it is by sarah warren and it's called the hummingbird oh it's not even a swallow it's hummingbird so this is my pet diary on the front page we have this picture of a long-haired syrian it says pet diary we have a bunny a piggy and a bunny and it says seriously spoilt and warning cuteness overload then we just have a blank page i like to make everything blank just in case i go wrong as well and i need to like rip the second page out i can just have it and restart here i'm a bit of a weirdo like that <laughs> this is the birthday page so we have the rabbit's birthdays the guinea pig's birthdays bonnie's birthdays the hamsters and the cats and then there's a cute little picture of a rabbit and it's just decorated this is then my pet profile section so i've only started two this is lions and i had to draw a lion i don't know why and then Ethel's and it just has basic information. I'm going to be printing out pictures and cute little like decorating all with some cute washi tape and everything. And then I haven't started the other pets, so I've left a big wad of room. And only the small animals are going to go in here. I'm not going to put the dog and the cats in. Then this is the piggy way days. So we've got a picture of a way weighing scales and then their weights. I have the other weights in my other box. I kind of weighed them. Um, I started weighing them, I didn't used to weigh them, I started weighing them like beginning of the summer holidays and I've just kept up with it and I've just put the most recent one in and I took this last night and I'm just going to start like watching it, they have been pretty good, like this is their weights and they haven't like changed really much so I'm just going to keep this one. So yes I do have a couple more things, I have a couple more letters from you guys which are in my hamster box then i have um some more all my vaccination papers and my vets bills are in another box just because they are kind of things that i just kind of don't look at they go in with all my receipts i'll just keep that completely separate i kind of like to keep on top of how much i'm spending but yes that is pretty much what is in my rabbit folder um i call it the rabbit folder but it is for pretty much all the animals so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you find it a little bit interesting um and yeah we will we'll see you again shortly guys bye